Okay, here's example eight in our sequences and series topic. Example seven, we looked at the nth term uh, formula for a geometric sequence. So we're just going to use this in this problem here. It says find the formula for the nth term of this given sequence and find the sixth term. So we can use the information we've got about the sequence uh, to write down a few key elements. For instance, we know that it starts at 4, so a is equal to 4. And this time we want to work out the common ratio. And we can do that by taking any two terms and dividing one by the other. Sometimes you might find, if you look later on, you might find two terms that are easier to divide. So negative 10 over 4 is fine. Um, I would maybe even say there's a 10 there. So if I do 25 divided by negative 10, uh, then I get negative 2.5 or uh, 5 over 2. So different ways of doing it. So I'll keep that as negative. Um, it's going to be 5 over 2, whichever way or whichever fraction you, you work it out. You could use 2.5. It just depends if, you, if it's going to end up as a calculator question or not. So the ratio is negative 2.5. So what we're going to do here, we need to find the formula for the nth term. So we know that un is equal to a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1. So in this case, un is going to be 4 multiplied by negative 5 over 2 to the power n minus 1. And that's all we can do. Okay, We have used the, the formula. We can't simplify it at this stage anymore. So we're just going to use that. It says find u6, so we can go ahead and use um, the the rule. As I said in example 7, the, the formula is very good uh, for just substituting in n equals 6. That's what it's designed for. So u6 uh, is going to be 4 multiplied by negative 5 over 2. And n is 6, so therefore 6 minus 1 is going to be 5. Now, at this stage, that's not a calculation you would be expected to do without a calculator. So I will yeah, suggest that you do so. We end up with 5 to the power 5 is 3,125. 2 to the power 5, as you probably know anyway, is, is 32. And we end up with negative 3,125 over 8, because you actually cancel out anyway. So not too difficult to do. Um, it will not break your brain if you do it without a calculator, but uh, you're much more likely to use one. That gives us 8 into 3,125, gives us 390, uh, remainder 5, so 5 eighths, or uh, you might have number crunched negative 390.625, and that would be fine. Uh, general uh, good manners is if you notice that in the the question, the fraction was written as a proper fraction rather than as a decimal. It's always nice to reciprocate in the end and include a fraction in your answer, but it's not the end of the world by any means if you just write it down as a decimal. So there we've got our two solutions. We've found un, the nth term formula, and we've found u6, and we're ready to go. So a wee examples of the nth term. Example 9 takes us into the finding the sum of a geometric series. Okay, hope that's been helpful.